I've been wanting to build this model for a very long time, and today we're finally going to get to it. Don't go away. Hello everybody and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And today, this is a model that I'm going to build. It's been on my radar for a very, very long time. Look, I, I love the old kits, okay? You know I love the Tom Daniel kits. Um, the things that I built when I was young. I, I remember, you remember the TV show Ironsides? Well, I remember... Um, they made a model of his van, his disabled van, because Ironsides was in a wheelchair. And they made a model kit of his van with all the contraptions for the for the wheelchair and stuff. And I remember building that and, of course, all the Tom Daniel stuff, all the creature stuff. Those are the models I really love the most. And there's this one that's been picking at my brain, but I couldn't find it. It's called the Flapjack. And uh, I happen to have one right here. Here it is, the Flapjack. So let me tell you about the Flapjack. I believe it's a Tom Daniel designed model by Monogram. And um, I remember this really, really fondly, but it's impossible to find. And um, some company, either like Aurora or Atlantic, they bought the rights to this, and they have the molds and everything. And I, I asked them, are you going to release it? And they said, well, we're trying to find somebody to make the motors for it because this is a motorized. And so I thought that was a promising sign, but that was a couple of years ago, and they haven't done a darn thing with it. So I finally found this one on uh, Fleabay, and it uh, looks solid. So I snagged it, and my fingers are crossed because... This particular model, the propeller spins, the machine guns move in and out, the um, wings flap, and it sits on a spring, so it kind of bounces around a little bit. Um, I don't know if the motors can go bad over time or something like that. I, I don't think so. So um, I'm hoping that everything is in here uh, and I don't have any problems. But we'll we'll see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart, then we're gonna talk about how I'm going to build it, and you're gonna have to give me some feedback. So let's let's take a look and see what we have. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. You know, honestly, it's more of a toy, I think, than a model. Maybe a little bit of both, but. Um, it's snap tight. Comes molded in two colors, silver and black. Um, so I don't know. Here, here's the question. I'm going to pose it to you right now so that you guys can start putting some stuff down in the comments. How should I build it? Should I build it like a kid would build it, right out of the kit and just snap it together and, and be done with it? Or should I put some modeling into it? I don't know. I, I I really don't know. Tell me what you think. Okay, so let's take a look. First of all, the box is in amazing condition. I don't often keep boxes, but in this case, I think this box is going to be kept. All right, flapjack, snap tight. Requires two AA batteries. I think I've got those. All right, so here... Look at that! Two sets of instructions. I wonder why. I wonder if somebody added a set here, or if this was a kit mistake. Either way, I could sell a set. I'm sure somebody will want those. Flapjack. Just let's take move this out of the way here. Let's take a look at the instructions here. It's just one big sheet. All right. All you need to get to operate the assembled flak jack are two size AA batteries not supplied. They're molded into tough, durable plastic, must be cut off the trees. 
Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Standard stuff. It's one big sheet. Instructions are pretty straightforward. You have a, like a little motor bay and gears. I can't believe this was made for kids, you know, because uh, it seems a little involved. I gotta tell you, please put in the comments down below how you think I should approach this, but I think I'm leaning towards just snapping it together. Especially because I remember this. This was a cool feature. To start it, you just flip the propeller and it would start running. Uh, if the motor does not run, take the wire out of the base, remove the clear bubble, take out the wings, take body apart, and check everything you did in step 11. Okay, so, yeah, uh, I probably don't want to glue it together. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so there's the instructions. I've got two sheets of those. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, well, okay. I guess it's in keeping with the uh, the level of kit that it is. These are stickers, not decals. And look at that. Two sets of, of the stickers. That's a nice thing. That is really nice. I wish they were decals, but they're not. All right. Oh, look. Okay. So, somebody has started it. So, well, all the pieces are on the trees. I was wondering if somebody had built it and then took it back apart to put it back in the box. Okay, the... Motor feels stiff, but I, I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. It turns. I have some uh, of that oil and that little oiler that I use. When I drill an outpost in diecast cars, I think maybe I'll put a little oil at the ends uh, where the bearings might be just to help make that spin better. I don't know. I don't know if this motor's going to work or not. I'm thinking I could actually... Put a battery in there right now and try it, but I don't know if that's really the way to go. Huh. Okay. Weird. All right. This this goes in, in keeping with what I said about it being more of a toy than a model. This is not styrene. This is way too flexy and bendy. It feels like toy plastic. All right. Everything's still on the sprues. It looks like everything is here. It's the base. Oh, you yeah, see... It's not broken. Oh, it looks like it's just where it was cut off. Some kind of little gear thing. There's the canopy. The mounting wire. A couple other little pieces. Some metal screws in here. I don't know if they're part of the kit or not. All right. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I think we're going to build it right now. That's what I think we're going to do. And we're going to build it as if I was a kid building it back in the day. That's what I think we're going to do. 
So let's get the instructions out, figure out what we got to do. All right, so starting with the motor, you put... All right, looks like this was done already, because that's, that's right there. All right. And then the motor is put in here. And then this thing goes over the top. So look, you could, you could easily replace this motor. But what kind of motor would it be? I don't even know. So that goes over the top. Then it shows Okay, so you do the wiring. I don't know if that's been soldered. I don't know if those are solid enough connections to make it run or maybe it needs some solder. I don't know. What is that? Oh, okay. Test the motor. It does say to test the motor. So two two batteries positive ends. Start sharply twist the motor shaft in direction shown by arrow. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> maybe that's why they sold it. Me. Uh, <laughs> maybe they got to this point and it didn't run, and so they <laughs> boxed it up and. Sold it. I, I don't mind telling you. I'm a little apprehensive here. There we go. The batteries are in. Ready? It's running. It is running for the... Oh my gosh. It's running. Oh, it's running. And then it says, hold shaft to stop the motor. It runs. Oh. I'm so excited. It runs. It runs and runs and runs and runs. Oh my gosh. Okay. All bets are off. All bets are off, man. It's. <laughs> it runs. It runs. It runs. It runs. It runs. It runs. Let me get the. It runs, guys. And gals. Okay, because this is just a snap type model, there's not really a lot to unpack here. Um, not a lot of skills and things like that that I want to share with you, but there are some things I want to talk about. Um, it seems that whoever had this kit broke it while they were building the very early stages of the engine. Uh, one of the cogs that's supposed to snap into place would not snap into place. It looks like when they were cutting it from the sprue, uh, the shaft that it was supposed to snap onto, it looks like they cut in the wrong place, and so it would not lock in. So I was forced to use, I first tried a little uh, Tamiya Thin Cement, that didn't work, and then I uh, used a little of my super glue. Uh, so I had to deal with that and glue that together so the cog would would do its job. All right, we're going to have to let that sit for a minute. Probably don't need it right now. Yeah, see, I'm on the other thing. So we'll let that sit, then we'll check it out, and we'll, we'll go from there. So, there we have it with the guns moving back and forth. Should put a little lube 
in there. Now this attaches to this. I see. To this little cog here. Get those into that. And then that. And it does mesh. Okay, so there's that. This. This. Okay, we're going to take this, um. now as you can see, I'm just kind of speeding through the build in places because, you know, like I said, it's just snap tight and there's not really a lot for you to, uh, to hear here, so I'm just going to speed through and do some voiceover. The body of the flapjack actually screws together with a couple screws. And what you have to do is you take these little metal nuts that uh, you hammer down over pegs on one side of the body, and those will receive the screws that will go through it. So that's all I'm doing here is I'm hammering those in place so we can screw this together. All right, if you are going to build this kit and you're watching this video to just kind of, you know, get your mind straight as you go into it, and if you take nothing away from this video, listen to this very carefully. The moving parts. The, the little motor is not the strongest motor in the world, okay? The moving parts... You need to be very, very diligent in cleaning these pieces up. You have to make sure there's no bits of sprue left. You may got to make sure there's no little spurs or catches or divots. And, you know, if you need to use your X-Acto knife or sanding sticks or whatever, you've got to make sure everything slides around with each other like poop through a goose okay um trust me on this i'm gonna find out the hard way um good is not good enough 
it needs to be perfect. A, a, a well-oiled machine. And it didn't hurt to put a little oil on the parts. Okay? But, uh, yeah, you, you really have to pay attention to the minutia. You've got to make sure that all the gears are perfectly clean, that they mesh with each other, and pieces that slide uh, along each other's surfaces are, are smooth and clean and, and glide back and forth and, and whatnot. If you don't do that, you're going to pay the price. So... I'm I'm getting pretty excited because it's starting to look like the flapjack that I I knew and loved from my youth and uh, I, I'm actually having a great time doing this and, and one negative is it's an old kit this is not styrene plastic it's this weird toy like plastic and you know not everything fits great okay there's there's little gaps and stuff like that in it. but again we're not really we're we're not really building a model here. We're building a flapjack. And as long as you're having fun, that's the important part here. Oh my gosh, I am so nervous, I'm a, I'm a wreck, I, I am literally a wreck. Doesn't feel like it, it's moving. So as I said, if you aren't making sure everything is perfectly smooth and, and meshing just wonderfully, you're going to pay the price. I had to take the whole thing apart literally all the way back down to the, the motor and take all those pieces apart and tend to each little cog and gear and make sure that everything would would mesh and slide and, and work together. Um, and, and because of this, and because of this, um, Later, when I go to put it back on, I'm going to actually break the canopy, the little tab that holds the canopy on. I'm going to break the little mounting tab off of it because uh, I go ahead and after I get it back off, I have to put it back on. I put it on the wrong way and I, I break the tab off. So uh, I ended up having to put a little uh, spot of glue on the canopy to uh, hold that in place. So yeah, um, it my failure led to other problems and, and a lot of extra work. So definitely pay attention here. I knew that was coming. And that's because I was putting it on backwards. I'm a dumbass. Broke the canopy. There it is. Oh. 
So. Okay, the, the stickers are not sticky. So, I'm just going to put the bare minimum on. Because they're not sticking at all. Holy bowl of cornflakes, Batman. That was a lot of fun. The flapjack. I can't tell you how long I've been wanting to, well, I guess rebuild a flapjack. You just can't find them, okay? And when you do, it's an open kit. May or may not have all the pieces. Really expensive. Um, I, I was very fortunate. I thought the kit I got looked solid, was <laughs> fairly reasonably priced but man did i have a lot of fun and it really took me back and and you can see in the pictures okay it's an old kit the parts don't fit good and stuff there's you know like i said I, it's more of a toy than a model but uh man did i have some fun with it and i just love the the way you just kind of flip the propeller and it starts to run and it bounces and and does all that stuff uh, man, I had a really, really good time, and it really took me back. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. If you have any questions or comments, especially about the flapjack, I'd love to hear them, so just put them down in the section below. All right, that's going to do it for today. I hope the rest of your day is stupendously, wonderfully amazing. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying... Be good.